Oh. He is a good fielder. Zamamul Huck looking to go for another big hit. Doesn't get that in the middle of the bat. Probably the first time he's missed we hit one and it's gone straight up in the air. Williams makes no mistake. And all these Zimbabwean players going to congratulate and say goodbye, I suppose, to Inzamam Ul Haq as it's his last match for Pakistan. His last one day international. Nice touch and applause to him as he leaves the field for the last time as a Pakistani one-day international batsman the emotion too much too much for the man a long and illustrious career for Pakistan well done Inzi I think we've detected a few tears there uh, I'll do my best guys <clears throat> uh, obviously these statements from and on behalf of the Australian cricket team and our support staff. Whew, words cannot express the loss we all feel as a team right now. To Greg, Virginia, Jason and Megan, we share in the deep pain that you're feeling. <sighs> Apart from when he was home on the farm with his beloved cattle, Husey was at his happiest playing cricket for his country with his mates. Things were always put into perspective when Husey said, where else would you rather be, boys, but playing cricket for your country? Oh, we're going to miss that cheeky grin and that twinkle in his eye. He epitomised what the baggy grin is about and what it means to us all. The world lost one of its great blokes this week, and we are all poorer for it. Our promise to Hughes's family is that we will do everything we can to honour his memory. Last night I asked Cricket Australia if Hughes's one day, Hughes's Australian one day international shirt number 64 could be retired, to which they agreed. That means so much. His legacy of his legacy of trying to improve each and every day will drive us for the rest of our lives. We'd like to thank everyone both here and overseas for the touching tributes to Husey in recent days. Our dressing room will never be the same. We loved him and always will. Rest in peace, Brussie. Not at all, no. Um, we play this game to win, to win, well, to win games of cricket to um, take glory away home and um, make a difference in a, in a nation's heart and hope. Um, so we, did, we didn't do that, we didn't achieve that, and it hurts quite a bit, you know. Um, got it. We had our chances and we didn't take them. We had a few chances to win, to win the game tonight. Um, that's not the only chance. I tried my best to catch it, I didn't. Um, life moves on. I didn't take that and unfortunately I... We had a chance again after that. The, the most beautiful thing happened to me in 1990 when I met my wife Anjali. Those were, those were special years and it, it has continued and it will always continue that way. I know, I know Anjali being a doctor there was uh, a wonderful career in front of her. Uh, when we decided to have a family, Anjali took the initiative to step back and say that you continue with your cricket and I'll take the responsibility of the family. Uh, without, without that, 
I don't think I would have been able to play cricket freely and without any stress. Thanks for bearing, uh, bearing with all my fuss, all my frustrations and all sorts of rubbish that I have spoken, I normally do. So thanks for bearing with me and always staying by my side through the ups and downs. Uh, you are the best partnership I've had in my life. Then the two precious diamonds of my life, Sara and Arjun. They've already grown up, you know. My daughter is 16, my son is 14. Time has flown by. I, I wanted to spend so much time with them on special occasions like their birthdays, their annual day, sports day, going on holidays, whatever. I've missed out on all those things. And thanks for your understanding. Both of you have been so, so special to me.